Welcome to Love It or Lose It. I'm Tamara Taggart, and this is the show that offers homeowners a free makeover by one of three extreme designers. But there's a catch. They have no idea which designer will be selected and no say in what happens to their room. In the end, we give them the ultimate choice, love it and keep their new room, or lose it and we take it all away. Let's meet today's homeowners. Today we're in the home of Fraser and Adrian Parnetta, whose master bedroom is screaming for major help. The furniture is 16 years old. It's definitely a style that I would almost consider the first memory of your grandmother's bedroom. We're going to introduce the Parnettas to three of our expert designers. Designer Country, Designer Shack, and Designer Gothic. As always, the design will be amazing, but remember, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. How far would you go for a free makeover? Stay with us to find out if the Parnettas are going to love it or lose it. This is the Parnetta's master bedroom, and I think I have a pretty good idea why we're here, you guys. Yeah, very good idea. <laughs> uh, could it be the wallpaper? It could be the wallpaper. It could right. be the foam green carpet. It mm -hmm. could be the melamine furniture. I know you've seen the show. You're a fan of the show. A huge fan of the so show. So which designer is your favorite? My favorite designer is definitely, hands down, designer gothic. Oh, okay. I want to feel <laughs> scrumptious in a bedroom. Razor's laughing. Okay. <laughs> you don't want she can't to. see me. <laughs> no, she can't. What about you, Fraser? Do you, what do you like? If you had to pick a designer from our show. Right now, I think my choice would be India. Because, really? Yeah, I've been thinking about it, and I, I just thought that would be the coolest thing to come back to. So, mm -hmm. a little eclectic. I, I'm, we, okay. we travel and stay in a lot of theme rooms, so I'm, I'm used to almost anything. But You've seen a lot of theme rooms. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where do you see theme rooms? Las Vegas. Well, Las Vegas. <laughs> Love theme you know, rooms. Yeah. And the, and the more, right. the, the more <laughs> theatrical, the better. Okay, well, we have three designers. I okay. know you're dying to see them, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So now are you feeling a little bit nervous? Actually, no, still not. So calm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> See this? This is going, oh my god. <laughs> okay, well, one of the three designers I'm about to show you gets your bedroom for the weekend. You ready to meet the first one? Absolutely. Okay. I'm Howard Palmatier, and I'm a country boy. Yeehaw! Zen, modern, eclectic, shabby chic. I've been down this road before. I don't get it. It's just furniture, for gosh sakes. You don't even need to take your boots off to go to bed. It's a story about what went before. Tactile. Hand hew and rough. The hard edge is worn away by time. Chicken wire. Maybe we should all just lighten up. Moo with me, people. Moo! Moo! Some people think that country has something to do with grandma's doilies. Well, it ain't. I can tell you that. There you go, Fraser. What do you think of country design? Well, interesting. And that. I'm pretty open to that, unless he's got those chickens running around in there, I mean. How about you, Adrian? I'm okay with it, as long as he doesn't just add doilies. I don't think he'll do that. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a really quick weekend for you guys. Okay, <laughs> well, Fraser, I know you're rooting for Indian, so let's see if uh, Designer India is next. Cool. Love Shack, Tiki Shack, Sugar Shack. Don't be afraid of Designer Shack. It's a lifestyle. It's a state of mind. I'm your guide, Brad Goff. I gotta be honest with you, I'm not normal. I love to inject a handmade touch into my designs, popsicle sticks, and macaroni sprayed gold. Live it, love it, shack. Feel the heat. Black velvet paintings speak to me. What's that, honey? I love you too. Hey, Adrian, how about designer shack? Love shack. Uh, love. Shack, definitely bring it on. I think it'd be great. <laughs> okay, one more designer to okay. show you. Okay. I have this little secret. Imagine your room crammed full of overstuffed upholstered furniture. I was a queen or a king, maybe in some other life. Classic, gothic, Elizabethan, Moorish, rich, luscious, darkened rooms. Oh, baby, feel the love. Her Royal Majesty Luan Litke has arrived. It's just so hard for me to leave. <laughs> I don't even need to ask you, Adrian, what you think of that. You had a nice smile on your face. I, I just have one thing to say. Yeah. Right on. <laughs> what about Definitely. you, Fraser? 
Yeah, I guess I could live with it, as long as it's not, not like a dungeon or something from that, you know, that type of thing. <laughs> okay, you know how this works. Absolutely. Oh, we're sending you to a beautiful hotel for the weekend. One of our designers gets to make over your room the way that they want. Yes. <laughs> when you come back, you have a choice to make. If you love it, it's yours to keep. If you don't love it, we lose it. So I just need the keys to your house, and then you guys just need to get out of here. There you go. And you're not going to tell us who the designer is, no, are you? I'm going to tell you. And that was really nice and easy. Thanks. Well, thank you. well, Adrian and Fraser may be getting hung out to dry for the weekend, but our mystery designer will open the floodgates of creativity. Stay with us to find out what our homeowners' love it or lose it chances are going to be. I got a bad feeling about this. We'll be fine. Welcome back to Love It or Lose It, where our homeowners, Adrian and Fraser Parnetta, are speaking very different languages when it comes to their master bedroom. India was most interesting to me. I'd be at home with that. Scarlett O'Hara, Gone with the Wind, the Victorian, that's my ideal. We introduced them to three of our extreme designers. Designer Country, Designer Shack, and Designer Gothic. As usual, the selected designer will be a surprise to them, but not to you. And today's designer is... Designer Country, Hard Paul Mateer. Okay, Hard, so we're going country. We sure are. How country are we going? We're gonna go Bordello. Western Hotel Bordello. Something that you know all about. No, I don't. <laughs> you do. You probably do. <laughs> well, what about this room? How do you feel about this room? Well, you know what? I stepped out of the car when I got here and I thought, where am I? I'm in Cleveland or Baltimore or somewhere. We've got carpet here that I think is called sea foam. It's you know, old. Wallpaper, a little posy kind of thing. It's not a room that's working terribly well together yeah. because it's just piecemeal. You want to see the plan? Yes, I do. We're going to replace this carpet. We're going to put a hardwood floor. We're nice. going to put a very nice king-sized iron bed in here. This is our trim, brownie plum. Ceiling nice. is gonna be gold. Fabrics that are amazing. Look at the rich colors in that. We're gonna wallpaper. And then we've got a wainscoting that's gonna be like a wood. Mm. Kind of fun. You know, people would say, well, is this the West? And they say, well, you know, it was all influenced by the Victorian, you know, England. I mean, it was all coming to the Western frontier and it was kind of a fun kind of wacky time. Okay, well, we should get started. We should. <laughs> Come on. There was clearly a new sheriff in town. And the first thing Hart outlawed was the Parnetta's old furniture. <coughs> Followed closely <coughs> by the seafoam green Saxony. And with sundown rapidly approaching, two major chores remain. Prepping the walls for a major facelift and warming up the ceiling with a sensual golden hue. It's already the beginning of day two. We have a ton to deal with in this huge master bedroom, like the wallpaper and Jeff and Fred and Harder in here. Hi, Timur. Hi, now I know you guys primed it last night. We did. But why aren't we just ripping it down? We don't know what's underneath this. We don't know how it was applied. So we figured the best thing to do with the time that we have is to prime right over it and hang right on top of it. What kind of primer, Jeff? So we're gonna use an acrylic primer seal out the surface and give it a surface that the new wall coverings will be able to adhere properly to it and uh, we won't have to worry about it coming off the wall. So you prime it just like you would if you were painting. Any exactly. Wall, but with an acrylic primer. Yeah. You know what, Tamara, they got lots to do. Uh, Let's yeah. get out and yeah. do our stuff. Okay, have okay. fun. Bye. See ya. While the wallpaper gang engaged in a bit of old-fashioned hanging, Hart and I rode off to stake a claim on some golden nuggets for the room. Tamara, this is Marilyn, and we're Hi. here to get some old-fashioned photos. Doing? I have something just in mind for you, but because we're an old-fashioned studio, ladies first, so you get to sit. Okay, have fun. Just have a seat right here and face the mirror. You look fabulous. How come I have to get dressed in public? <laughs> Feels there tough. There we go. Oh, no. Oh. That is so you. Your hand like this, like so. Perfect. Little tilt. That's a perfect look. Let's just tilt this up a little more. Good. Oh, maybe a little bit of a smile. Good. That sultry look. Remember, Hotel Bordello. Okay. One, two, and three. Tamara, I want to introduce you to my brother, Calver, who is a macrame expert. Ah. 
I see the resemblance. Thanks. Mm. Thanks? <laughs> <laughs> Macrame, like what my mom did in the 70s. Yeah, it's an ancient form of tying knots that started out with the Arabs. When the Moors invaded Spain, they brought it with them to Spain and then it spread into Europe. So that was around the Victorian era. We're going to use it to to divide slightly, but it's going to hang above our bed and it's going to be in an alcove, so the alcove will be kind of divided from the room. Okay, this is called the square knot. You just go over and then through there, tighten that. And then what you do is you alternate, take the two off the side ones and you move it over to there. Right. So, under. Under. Now it's got to go over top. Over. Very good. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> We're going to be here all day. Okay. Stop it. Can you show me one more time how to do it? and then stick that through there. Yeah. Okay, and you got the first part of the knot. Then you pull this back through here. Okay, now pull it. Oh, I did it. All by yourself. Oh, yeah. Yay! Very good. That was so easy. You're so clever. <laughs> Does this sort of thing run in the family? You're very talented. It's been in the family for thousands of years. Really? Since cave times. Yes. <laughs> These like, were used to separate the caves. <laughs> 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 so you had a little bit of privacy. Back at the house, the crew is laying the groundwork for the next phase of Hart's vision. With the construction team now wooed by his racy theme, I can only imagine what's on the minds of our innocent homeowners. It's like a lamb led to slaughter, right? You turn the corner, there it is, boy. <laughs> Bring him the top. Stay tuned Stay to home. see if Adrian and Fraser have nothing to fear or if their dreams of a perfect new bedroom go up in okay. smoke. How come I get this rotten job? Welcome back to Love It or Lose It. Our homeowners, Adrian and Fraser, thought they'd just be spending the weekend at a hotel. Little do they know, they'll be coming back to one as well. This is going too easy, too well. Something's gonna happen here. Designer Country is corralling their suburban bedroom with a frontier hotel bordello theme. That's kind of a fun, wacky way to look at country. It's a scene right out of gun smoke, but is this what the Parnettas pictured when they asked for a change? With Hard's rustic laminate flooring still a work in progress, I decided to give our seamstress Jean a hand with some of the softer details. Usually you don't do this much sewing when we're doing a country room. That's right. But I guess the Victorian influences were sneaking into the Wild Wild West in the 1800s. Lots well, of tassels, lots of cushions, lots of curtains. Lots of burgundy. Lots of burgundy. It looks very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, how am I doing over here? Ah. It's not bad. Still working on the floor. Yeah. Lots to do there. There's a lot of work left oh, to complete the, the room, here. but the furniture's here and I just have to see it. Oh, the bed is it's beautiful. Great, isn't it? It's a beautiful bed. You know? Yeah, I like it, but yeah. wh what is this thing? It's a tub, the tub. You're kidding me, it's no. so little. It's part of the service of the bordello. But you know what? We need one more thing for this. Let's go. Such a tiny little tub. Where on earth are you taking me now? What does this have to do with the bath? Well, every bathtub needs soap. In the 1880s, you couldn't go out and buy soap. You had to make it. How are we making soap with a fire? We need animal fat and ash. Oh. And look what I've got. Bacon for our fat and ash from the fire. OK. How come I get this rotten job? Because this is the harder job, and boys can do it better. Excuse me? Hard's bucket of fat had to cool down overnight, and the final stages of his makeover were just beginning to heat up. Our homeowners come home today. There's still a ton to do. Everybody's busy like Kelly is. Can I help you? No, not Something really I tomorrow. I've got so much to do here. We've got all this molding. We've got to separate the two kinds of wonderful wallpaper that Howard went and picked. Mm -hmm. We've got to do vertical trim. We've got to do some baseboard, some crown. It's no surprise that Hard's country details would come out in the woodwork, but I wanted to come clean on some other unfinished business. Hey, Marianne, we got all the stuff. We fried our bacon, so there's the fat, and then we collected the ashes. And Hard tells me that we can make soap out of this, but I don't really believe him. Actually, you can. They did that about 100 years ago, but you don't want to put this on your gorgeous skin, do you? 
I don't oh. think so. Get rid of it, Howard. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have a more modern way we, for us to make some soap? Yes, we do. And I'll show you how to do it. So here you have some of your fats, olive oil in most recipes, and of course, myriad of essential oils in here. And we're going to need some safety goggles because we're working with an element which is very, very dangerous, and that is the sodium hydroxide. This smells good. It actually smells good. Yeah. And there's olive oil in there. There's some coconut. There's some palm. So I'm adding the lye, which is actually water and sodium hydroxide. Okay, we've got it thickened up like a custard. This is at the point you can add your essential oils, your botanicals. And this is still dangerous. If it hits your skin, it's caustic. Pour it into the molds, we'll insulate it and continue the process called saponification. You can use anything for a mold. And I, when I started, I was using shoe boxes lined in plastic. And how long does this set for? I will leave it in the mold for 48 hours. Just like wrapping a present. Exactly. Okay, there we go. Mmm, smells so good. Good enough to eat. Much better than bacon fat and ash. Thank you, Marianne. Mm -hmm. With our soap problems cleaned up, it's time to get our hands dirty, moving in a vast collection of period furniture. It will soon be high noon for both Hard and his Frontier Masterpiece. I'm curious and excited and nervous all at once. Definitely. Stay with us to find out if Hard's gamble pays off and if the Parnettas are willing to hang their hats where the buffalo roam. I think I've run everything through my mind so many times now I'm, I'm beating a dead horse here. I don't know if there's a dead horse in there, but I mean... <laughs> Welcome back to Love It or Lose It, where designer country has steered our homeowner's West Coast bedroom into the Wild West. And wild, it certainly is. The once utilitarian space is now an inviting period boudoir in a palette of sensual, rich tones. The walls have become an alluring backdrop of rough sawn wainscoting topped with a rich scarlet paisley. The seafoam carpet has been replaced with a rustic laminate floor warmed by a deep gold ceiling above. Dark plum crown molding, baseboard and chair rail add to the room's authenticity and depth. Lush bedding and leather pillows highlight the room's centerpiece. A classic wrought iron bed and a homemade quilt. Above the bed hangs a traditional open frame macrame divider suspended from a brass dowel. The room is filled with traditional hotel fixtures from the gay 90s, a vintage poker table, a set of lavish fainting chairs, and an assortment of period lamps. Props true to the era provide the finishing touches for this western bordello, including a bison head, holsters and guns, sepia photos, and yes, even an ensuite bathtub for cleaning up after a night of good old fashioned fun. Hard. Your room is remarkable. It looks so great. I feel like I'm in the wild, wild west, but um, I've never had to interview somebody naked in a tub before. I don't even know if I can look at you. No offense, but my goodness. You know, any good hotel in the frontier town would have had a bathtub in the room. What makes this room a Wild West Frontier Bordello hotel room? You know, it's a couple of things. You know, the wallpaper, the wainscoting, the big baseboards. Mm -hmm. Stop lifting. I can't me. help it. The bubbles are going down, and I'm worried. <laughs> There's lots between me and the bubble top. Don't worry. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> but also the furniture. I mean, the style of the furniture was, you know, influenced by Victorian England. It feels like a cross between Western and Victorian. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is. Tell me about your favorite part of the room. The fabric and the way that the bed worked with a little alcove. Mm -hmm. the I think it looks, looks great. Just from what I, I, I see in the rest of the house, I think it'll be a positive reaction. Yeah, well, we'll find out very soon. I think so. Okay, deep breath. <sighs> did you sleep last night, Adrian? Yes, actually, I did. I you... slept very well. Are you calm? Relatively. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's see how calm you are in a second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Now I'm getting nervous. Oh, no. <laughs> well, on the count of three, I'm going to get you guys to take oh, off Oh, no. Your Can we just keep talking? <laughs> no. I don't want to see it. <laughs> have to. This is the best part. This is what I nervous. wait all weekend for. Oh, Come on. Let's do okay? This. On the count of three. Okay. One. Okay. Two. All right. Three. Holy cow. You have got to be kidding. Oh Holy what do you cow. think of your Wild West oh, bordello? <laughs> I'm all for it, of course. Oh. <laughs> 
that's why I said this town needs more bordellos. <laughs> Can you believe it's the same room? No! no. Oh no. my god! It's, it's a bison or bubble. <laughs> I can pretend I shot it. So you guys love it? Oh, definitely. I do. Sorry. Yeah, I do. I think it is really, really cool. Really, really neat. You seem Holy like you're in a bit of shock. Yeah. It's a mix of what we wanted. I wanted the gothic, so I wanted the rich fabric, the color, which I have. You have it all. Can and I, yeah. can I bring has... out our country boy? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Come on out here, hard palmateer. Hi. How you doing? <laughs> Thank you so Adrian much, Adrian and Howard. Fraser. How you doing? <laughs> There you go, Fraser wanted Indian, Adrian wanted Gothic, they got the wild, wild west, and they love it. What would you do if you came home and your master bedroom was a wild west bordello? We'll see you next time on Love It or Lose It. I definitely loved it as soon as I opened my eyes. Absolutely, it wasn't what I was expecting at all. <laughs> bordello bedroom, right? <laughs> what kind of red, red blooded male wouldn't want to be in there, right? <laughs> <laughs> What kind of thing with these things? Honey, what are we going to do in this room? <laughs> this is a family program, isn't it? <laughs> Can you just um, get the part of my back I can't reach? Harder and deeper. Come on. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> I'm not paying for this. <laughs> I ain't paying for this service. <laughs>